Hey guys, Zach here with Foundation Disc Golf. Today we're gonna to be doing my in the bag. Um, yes, I am amateur and you might not care what's in my bag, but um, maybe you guys can relate with what I have. I do throw a mixed bag, um, so we will start with the putters. But first, um, I am using this Discraft grip bag. I'm loving it, very comfortable. Um, I had a Prodigy bag before, it wasn't as comfortable. This fits less discs, which is actually great for an AM. Uh, if you have too many discs, discs it's almost not good. Um, so first we're gonna go through the putters. Uh, we'll start with the most overstable. I have two zones. Um, I have a crystal zone uh, and a ESP zone. The crystal zone is the one I go to most. The ESP one I added just recently, um, but both are you know overstable and reliable. Um, but some would call this also a mid. Uh, I, I'd say usually I'm throwing this you know anywhere from 300 feet to uh, 100 feet. Um, maybe even shorter, but this is definitely a reliable disc. If you don't have it in your bag already, I would try it out, um, but I do carry two. So next we are gonna go to my throwing putters. Throwing putters are new for me. I didn't always. Um, usually if I'm throwing a putter, I'm probably gonna be throwing it lefty, uh, but I have two Lunas. I've got the Crystal five-time Luna, and I've got an ESP Luna with a little bit of Z in it. Um, you know, I've been really liking this ESP Luna since I've gotten it. Um, it is, you know, it's got that straight flight with a reliable finish. Same thing with the Crystal Luna. I haven't really found much of a difference between them yet, but I will keep them both in my bag as I keep throwing them. I will see which one uh, will be for which shots. And then next to my putting putters, um, these are not Discraft. I'm still using McPros. Um, I've been switching between PA3s and McPros. You might say, wow, it's very different. It's because they are. Um, one has a bead, one doesn't, one's overstable, one's not. One's glidey, one's not. Um, but with my putting woes, uh, I have found that the more glidey the disc, it's actually gonna help me more just because I can you know, keep it on that straighter line for a longer period of time. So I'm definitely gonna be practicing putting more and I will be practicing with these. Um, so hopefully I can get my putting better. Next, we are going to move into my mids. I have a few of those. How many we got? We got one, two, three, we have six mids. Um, so first I'll start with most overstable. I have the Buzz OS, I love this disc. Um, for some it might be too overstable, but for me, now it's breaking in to almost a straighter-ish flying disc, but it is my most overstable mid. Um, if I need a really overstable shot, I will just go back to that zone, um, but this disc is great. Then I have a Buzz, this is the early tea time ESP Buzz. Um, this is the more overstable of the two ESP buzzes that I have. I can throw this forehand and backhand, um, again, with that reliable finish. Next, I have another uh, ESP buzz. This one's one of the four times ones. It's more beat in than the other one, so it is definitely straighter. Um, so I use these when I still need that finish, but um, something that'll go straight. Next, I have an A4, definitely beat in. It's been in my bag for a couple of years now. This, I'm really not gonna throw backhand. If I'm throwing it, I'm gonna be throwing it forehand. Um, it's really got that nice uh, glide. If I throw it on that Anheuser angle, it will hold the angle and it'll keep riding out. Um, so I like those Anheuser shots with this A4. Next, I have a Core. Um, this is a understable disc. I'm not gonna be uh, flicking this at all. If I'm throwing it, it's gonna be backhand. Um, so it's got that you know nice Heiser touch but it's still gonna finish a little bit to the left not as much uh, not as much flip though as this star wombat 3 this is the most flippy min in the bag this is gonna be for those uh, you know really long um, Anheuser shots that need to hold that angle and still finish to the right um, this will not come out of the shot but again this is beat in as well um, so but this is a newer mid in my bag I'm definitely excited uh, having this back in the bag uh, just because I was missing that really overstable uh, mid-range. So now we're going to go into uh, fairways, I guess. Um, so I've got a few of those as well. Actually, I don't have as many. I guess Raptors count as uh, fairways. All right. So first, I'll go with most overstable. We've got a Crystal Raptor. Here is the colored Crystal Raptors that we did with the foundation stamp. This is, you know, your Firebird, your, uh, yeah, this is that overstable disc in your bag. I have two Crystal Raptors. 
This one, the colored one, is much more overstable than my uh, clear Crystal Raptor. I know Hunter, when he does his in the bag, his colored one is not as overstable. Um, but I've got a Domi one, and this, this is that really overstable disc in my bag. You'll see me throwing this one less than you will see me throwing um, my clear Crystal Raptor. That's just because that one can be too overstable at times, but it still has its purpose. Uh, but you will be seeing me throw this one more often. Uh, next, I have a Glow FD3. This would be a step down from that clear Crystal Raptor. Um, this is newer in the bag, just a few months old. Um, but it is pretty straight flying for me, but with that reliable finish. Um, so if you need something that's right below that Firebird, that Crystal Raptor, a Glow FD3 is awesome. But if you're trying to stay in the family of, um, you know, one, one, uh, disc manufacturer then you know this might not work out for you but the glow fd3 is a great and reliable disc next i have an undertaker undertaker is going to be for my backhand shots i really do not forehand this um, i don't have a fast arm speed so the undertaker is not something i'm going to be throwing far or anything like that but if i need to just throw maybe 300 foot hyzer um, i'm going to be throwing this um, it is not really that beat in, so it is still pretty overstable for me. Um, I know other people, you know, Undertaker could, you know, flip all the way over. Um, but this is still, uh, you know, pretty new-ish. So that 300-foot hyzer, that this is going to be that. Next, I have a 150 TD. Um, this is a old Hannah Croak disc. See her name right here. Um, it is super light. If I really need to crank on something, um, not even just for distance, but I know I'm gonna hit that gap and I'm gonna get that flip with it, throw it on a touch of hyzer, um, I'm gonna be throwing this TD. I don't throw it that often just because I don't throw the backhand super often, but this is what I would, would go to for that shot, that nice tunnel shot if I'm throwing a backhand. And last but not least, I have a sail, DGA sail. This is the most understable fairway in the bag. Um, this could pretty much roll if I threw it as hard as I could, um, but it's definitely got that hyzer flip and ride that, um, ride that Anheuser line, just like that Wombat did. It's really important to have those kind of discs in your bag that will hold that line and glide all the way to the right. So that's what I would use this sail for. Um, and I did die this. Now we got distance drivers. I've got a few. We will start with the most understable. We have a Shrike. Um, I love to throw this Shrike forehand, just because if I throw it on hyzer, it flips up, it rides really far. Um, I would say it is one of the more uh, farthest flying discs in my bag. Even though it is understable, it's really nice for that hyzer flip forehand. Um, or if you wanna throw you know, a really high Anheuser shot that's just gonna hold that line the entire time. I just realized that I started from the opposite way this time, but it's all right. Next, I have a super beat-in bottom stamp destroyer. This is from 2017, so it's been in my bag for three years now. Um, you could probably tell how beat-in this thing is. It is very, very straight for a destroyer. Um, will most likely flip over too if I throw it too hard, but um, it's, you know, just a step up from that Shrike that I just showed you. I've been throwing this less and less, um, but I still throw this a lot as you can tell, and like I said, it's been in the bag since 2017. Now we have a Zeus. Um, I think this plastic is Z. These uh, were limited to, I think, one of 50 or one of 100, so you might call me dumb for throwing it, but it's beautiful. Um, so I love throwing this for distance shots. I have three different Zeuses in the bag, each different stability, um, so this, Z Zeus is the most understable. Lots of glide, obviously, with all the Zeus's, uh, but the most understable. Next, we have the big Z Zeus, right here. Um, this is just a touch more stable than that Z Zeus. Still, ton of glide, um, but these are pretty similar, these three, but still just a little bit different for each shot. And then I've got the ESP Zeus here, which would be my most overstable Zeus but not the most overstable distance driver in my bag. This is when, um, you know, I throw the Zeus when I'm really gonna crank on something that needs a ton of distance. Um, but next, I have a destroyer. It's got a piece of glow tape on it. Um, but uh, 
this is whoa this is a pretty old destroyer but this i know if i put on anheuser it's going it's not going to roll um these other discs you know they might if i put on too much anheuser they're going to just dig into the ground this one will not uh, but it's still got that hard finish to the right um, so if I need something super far and I need to crank on something, maybe a headwind or something like that, either I would go to this destroyer or last but not least, the Force. Um, this Force is super pop top. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is super, super overstable. I would even almost put it on the level of a Crystal Raptor for me overstable. Um, I'm only throwing this if it is a dead headwind. Um, other than that, I really wouldn't have much use out of this. Um, or overhand is what I would use this for. I used to throw something like a Nuke OS, uh, but I just found as I'm getting a little older, not old, but I'm not, my shoulder isn't uh, as young as it used to be. So I'm not gonna be throwing those as often. And if I do, I don't need, you know, 400 feet of distance out of it. I can still get this uh, force to go about probably 350 overhand, um, but this is the most overstable distance driver in the bag. So now we will go into my side pockets. I've got a few things in these pockets. I've got two minis here. Uh, I got a foundation mini and a discs unlimited mini. I don't use this mini uh, for marking discs, but it's actually for my dog when he comes to play. Um, I throw this for him. This is what he chases. He's too small to carry large discs. So those are the minis. Um, what else? We've actually got, this wasn't my bag all the time. This was Paul's bag. We've got a bouncy ball. I don't know what he uses bouncy ball for. Haven't taken it out though. Next, we have my foundation wide dry chalk bag. Um, I'm loving these chalk bags. We got them just a few weeks ago, but they're a perfect mix of um, chalk and you know I think whatever I think it might be rice in there, but not too chalky, and it dries the perfect amount. Uh, we have these on our website if you guys do want them. Next, I don't know if this counts, but I have my car keys. I drove here, so I had to have car keys. Um, if you care, here's my key and here's my wife's key. Uh, I have here my tag for the club, Peaks and Creeks Club. Um, I have the five tag currently because I just stole it from Hunter. Um, so just got that recently as well as this Peaks and Creeks uh, pin. This is from the 2019 season, I believe. We've got my phone. Can't go anywhere without the phone got some chapstick and I've got my Innova water bottle this always keeps my water cold and then last but not least my towel it's a Liberty disc golf towel I've had this since I joined the team um, four years ago something like that thanks guys for watching my in the bag if you guys have any questions about the discs that I described or uh, shot selection anything like that Drop them down in the comments below and I'll answer those questions for you. Um, all right, if you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that now and we'll see you guys next week.